Hi, I'm Ram Gopal from presentationprocess.com. Let us say you want to type a technical paper and your text has a lot of technical terms. For example, listen to these couple of sentences. I want to type, in the hematologic malignant diseases, the recognized recurring chromosomal abnormalities often correlate with particular subtypes of leukemia that have characteristic morphologic and clinical features such as response to therapy, which is identified only in patients with pro-myelocytic leukemia. I know, that is quite a complex sentence. Now, when I try to type this kind of complex text, I'm sure I'm going to have a lot of spelling mistakes. Now, is there a way I can make this easier for myself? Yes, you can. And that is by switching on typing suggestions right in Windows. Let me show you how it is done first. First, go to start and then start typing suggestions. You can do that directly and it will lead you to this option called system settings, typing settings. Click on it and here when you go down, you will have this option called hardware keyboard and this usually is turned off. You click this to turn it on. Short text suggestions as I type and autocorrect misspelled words I type. You click both of these on and then just close this. Now let us type what I've just said. In the hematologic malignant diseases, now as I write my word, you can see that I have suggestions here. I'm going to just click on it and diseases. As I write a few characters, you can see that I have the relevant suggestions here. Uh, recognized, recurring. You don't have to look at every single word. Now chromosomal is what I'm going to type and as you can see I have this suggestion. I can just click on it and I can pick it. Let me type and abnormalities often correlate with particular subtypes of leukemia. Now if I am not really sure about the original spelling of leukemia I can always go here and click on it. Sometimes it might say there is a spelling mistake. Then you can always right click and go to the original one as shown in Windows dictionary. But the thing is the one suggested here and in the dictionary are both right. But sometimes there might be a small difference maybe in the UK or US spelling. But you can definitely rely on what is being suggested here. Let me continue that have characteristic. Now here I usually make a mistake when I say characteristic. I can see the suggestion here and I can always make my correction because in this case I only want characteristic and not characteristics. Here I can just make the correction. And let us say I want to have morphologic. Can you see here? I can pick up this one and I can remove my two characters there. So that is how I can use the suggestions by Windows to pick the right words as a type. And the best part about the suggested text is it works in pretty much any program you open. For example, here I have a notepad and I'm going to say recurring and I have the suggestion coming here. Chromosomal. Can you see as I type, I have the option available abnormalities and I have this available. So even if it is notepad, you still have these options available. The same is the case with Excel, PowerPoint, etc. Now let me turn that off, go to start and then say typing settings and hit enter and it goes back to the same option here. I can switch this off, switch this off and close. Now when I type, you can see I don't have those suggestions. It's a handy little feature, especially when you are into typing something technical, something complex, where you require help in typing complex words. In the meantime, do you want to learn some simple and creative PowerPoint ideas you can use in your next presentation? Then click on the link here to join our 5-day free email course called 25 Creative PowerPoint Ideas. These are simple, quick and useful PowerPoint ideas I have not shared elsewhere. So go ahead, click on the link, join the course and I will see you inside.